All right, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad, teaching his word, his sincerity, and truth. All right, I'm back at you again doing another show. And as always, may the Lord edify those of the whole four elect, all right, with this truth, all right, with his word. And um, with that being said, he that got ears to hear, let him hear. All right. Now, here's a video I just came across on PBS News. And the title is Why Deep Fake Videos Are Becoming More Difficult to Detect. All right. Now, this is a software that's used on a, you know, in many devices, applications. All right. Where you can manipulate, you know, and you can change the image. Of someone's face you know you can even use their voice pattern you know to actually fraud you know it's, it's fraud to to imitate basically someone you know now it was all cool and fun when you know um when let me say when 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 the government is using it you know or when the higher ups are using it to say but then when it starts to come against the higher ups, it's a problem, you know, because anybody out there that's in that's into this type type of device technology can get their hands on this, you know, and it's been a lot of videos going viral where certain um certain celebrities been mocked, you know, people being you people, you know, taking memes too far. You know, you know, you know, you know, we all know about the memes nowadays on the social media, which some of them are a lot of pretty, pretty funny, you know. But now, you know, the, uh, the the powers that be are saying that they're going too far because they're being hackled. All right. They're being mocked by random people. You know, they can actually, you know, with all this biometrics that's going on that Esau established to take away, they really to take your identity from you, you know. Is backfiring and now they want to put it on they want to clamp it up they want to lock it down you know they don't want everybody to have this type of uh you know ability to do these things man because you know this in this video which i'm going to play a little bit they saying that it's a national security risk you know <laughs> but um you know it's beautiful you know the way the way that i see it through the spirit and power of yahweh by shimei was shy with the spiritual eye because it goes right back to the scriptures, man. And uh, not, and let me say this too: this same technology, you know, is you know is was created. You know, they they tell you it's fun, you know, it was games, and no, man, it's always some character that comes up with an invention, something new, and say that his intentions was this to better the world, have fun. But instead, what was created end up becoming detrimental or or destruction upon the people. And who was that people? You so-called minorities, man. The poor. You so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians. But because the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, call Halal La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we're in that time of Esau being revealed. We're in the time of his kingdom. The end, excuse me, we're in the time of the end of his kingdom. So things are backfiring quick. All right? So this is Psalms chapter 10 and 1. Matter of fact, before I read this, I want to say something else. This is why the internet was created. All right. When the Lord allowed these, these Edomites to allow this internet, the, the new highway of things, the internet of things, because this is a highway. All right. When he allowed this internet to be the way it was. And this is why now he wants to regulate it. But the way that it was. All right. From the beginning. Was that they wanted to be able to manipulate the masses, the whole world, through the internet. But instead, the Most High created this highway of things, as far as the internet, for his word, for his gospel to be taught, to be preached throughout the four corners of the earth. All right? And, and, and guess what? The elect is waking up. And now, even the internet, which is beating, you know, the powers that be, all right, with information. You know, they don't want certain information out because they be lying, because of, because of deception, because they want to have control. 
But guess what? It's out there. You know, you'll be a fool not to retain this information that's out there. And especially the information, which is the word, the knowledge, understanding. Well, the knowledge, wisdom and understanding of the Lord. You know, the scriptures say it was our minds to go astray. Seek the Lord 10 times more. But anyway, this is Psalm chapter 10 and 1. Why standest thou far off, O Yahweh? Why hidest thou thyself in a time of trouble? The wicked in his pride doeth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. You see? So, you Edomites, the tables are turned all around the board. Years ago, it used to go your way. Lying, deception used to be a, a, a win for you. But now your lying and deception is a L for you. All right? Because the Lord, he said, well, this is King David. All right? Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. So everything that you imagine against against the, the poor, all right? Which really, in all reality, the Israelites, okay? Because you have us in captivity, it's going to happen unto you. With all these different devices as far as this technology, even for a long shot, you know, him dealing with uh, AI intelligence, artificial intelligence, that's going to backfire eventually. If the Lord allowed that to play his course, <laughs> if Esau had a, a full time to rule, but he had a short time to rule. All right. You know, even you got these smoke so-called smart guys, um, Elon Musk and a few other guys, they talk about. The AI intelligence and how eventually it's going to take over robots. They're going to be smarter than humans. Humans are going to be on the food chain, you know, and all this and this and that. So really your future is always destruction, regardless how you look at it. All right. So it says, let the wicked and his pride do a person, the wicked and his pride do a persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. All right. So I'm going to play some of this video here. Why deep fake videos are becoming more difficult to detect. All right. Because um, with this software, with this device, if you actually take your time, you can perfect it. You know, it's kind of with depending on the apps and how you're using this software on what device you're using it on. You know, it's, it's kind of, you know, gimmicky, um, glitchy. But if you take your time, you can perfect it. And certain people that put these memes together for these celebrities, they perfected it to make it seem real reality. And this is something they use to demonize us, you know, us Hebrew Israelites. You know, I got a brother standing before the camera, um, brother breaking down the scriptures. They could take any one of our videos and they could use our voice pattern. You know what you're going to see in this video. They can use they can manipulate the face. Well, excuse me. They can. Take the voice pattern and they can have you sitting there before your camera in, in your home, wherever you at teaching and have you saying stuff that you did not say because they did that to Obama. What you're going to see in this video as far as a meme, you know, that they putting across through mainstream uh, social media, excuse me, you know. So but guess what? You're going to be taken in the devices that you have imagined. All right. And that's what's happening now. So I'm going to play some of this from the back. I mean, from the beginning and um, I'm not going to play the whole thing, but hopefully you guys of the whole full elect be edified. There is growing alarm over the use of altered videos online, especially those known as deep fakes, which are highly realistic looking and inaccurate. There are concerns about their growing sophistication and the risks they pose to national security. It is the focus of a hearing tomorrow in the House Intelligence Committee. Miles O'Brien has a look at how those videos once the source of some fun are being manipulated and how artificial intelligence scientists are trying to respond. It's part of, a week, of our weekly segment on the leading edge of science. All right, let's see you being me. <laughs> <laughs> Scary as deep fake videos may be, there are times when they can be fun. <laughs> A place where a 3D model of my face gets electronically plastered onto computer scientist Hao Lee's head, making him the puppet master and me the dummy. <laughs> really, yes. You see? And this is the power that Esau holds. He been had this technology. 
All right. This is why they want you to take pictures in your phone. This is why they want you to play with the emojis and things like that. Uh, as far as the face you, you know, within these apps, you can change your face up. You can make your face look like a mask. You can do. They wanted you to do these things so they can what? They can pick. They can take away your identity. Identity. They can pick up your facial recognition. They can pick up your iris scan. All right. They can. They can. They can. Uh, by doing videos, they can pick up on your voice. Your voice pattern. The way that you laugh. You know, this is the power the most I have given Esau, man. All right. So don't be surprised. You know, coming down the line, they let this. They let time go by because this is what they love to do. This video gets old, and then they'll be using this type of technology to demonize brethren. All right. The men of the Lord. All right. But the scriptures told us we're not ignorant of Satan devices. Scary looking individual <laughs> overall. What do you think? I do need to change my hair, don't I? Yeah. Lee is an associate professor at the University of Southern California and co-founder. And excuse me, when I say this video get old, what I'm talking about is this PBS news coverage of why deep fake videos are becoming more difficult to detect. These type of videos where the news call itself covering, you know, this matter, going deep into it, all right, talking about the concerns of this type of device. They'll let this they'll let this 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 show, this video gets old year a year from now. Nobody's talking about it, and then they will use this technology against you. All right. A pin screen. An app that allows consumers to make instant custom 3D avatars for virtual reality gaming and shopping. So now you created your avatar, right? So you have your... A nice trim, Miles O'Brien. The real-time puppet master trick is how he refines the technology. And here I am as our president. Yep. Shinzo Abe, Prime Minister of Japan. Mm-hmm. Jean, leader of China. Trudeau? That's not a bad look for me. Me as Justin Bieber. What do you think? I think I'm going to do this on the news hour all the time now. This will be good for my uh, career, don't you think? <laughs> Lee says he never saw it as anything more than entertainment. Of course, it can be used for something really bad, but the main purpose was never for that. It was used to use for entertainment. A fun tool that could give us more things to do for fashion, lifestyle, etc. Deep fake videos cleverly combine what's real with what is synthesized by a computer to make people appear to say things they never did or never would. I like vodka. The ever-increasing speed of computers, along with the advancement of the artificial intelligence technique called machine learning, is making these composites harder and harder to detect with the naked eye. We all assume that there will be a point where there's no way to tell the difference. I mean, for visual effects, I think you can get pretty close already. It's just the question of how much effort you put into it. But in terms of content that can be created by anyone, I think it's getting very close to the point. This was, this was very truly surprising for me. One um, technique is the face swap, yeah, which I puts Steve Buscemi's that. face on Jennifer Lawrence's body. Nicolas Cage onto a series of marquee stars in iconic roles. Terrific. <laughs> or Jimmy Kimmel's mug on mine. So I've had to relearn very simple things. But there is a deep, dark side as well. Indeed, the technology has been used to paste the faces of celebrities onto the bodies of porn stars. Computer scientist Hani Farid is a professor at Dartmouth College. I am worried about the weaponization, and I'm worried about how it's impacting us as a society. So we are working as hard as possible to detect these things. Killmonger was right. This video crystallized much of the deep concern. What seems to be President Barack Obama making a speech... You see, I would never say these things. Is actually comedian and filmmaker Jordan Peele doing his excellent Obama impersonation synced with software created with artificial intelligence, or AI. The AI system synthesized the mouth of President Obama to be consistent with the audio stream, and it made it look like President Obama was saying things that he never said. That's called a lip sync deepfake. 
Just this week, the technique was used to put some pretty outrageous and comical words into the mouth of Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. Spectre showed me that whoever controls the data controls the future. It's a potent technology that is ripening at a time of deep polarization and suspicion fueled by social media. So it's really sad. Here's the thing. Just last month, something much less sophisticated than a deep fake, a doctored video of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi making her seem drunk, went viral. We want to give this president the opportunity to do something historic. Deep fakes ratchet up the risks. The nightmare situation is that there's a video of President Trump saying, I've launched nuclear weapons against North Korea. And somebody hacks his Twitter account, and that goes viral, and in 30 seconds we have global nuclear meltdown. Do I think it's likely? No. But it's not a zero probability. And that should scare the bejesus out of you, right? Because the fact that that is not impossible is really worrisome. Fareed is most worried about deep fakes rearing their ugly head during the 2020 election. So he and his team are carefully learning the candidates' patterns of speech and how they correlate with gestures as a way to spot deep fakes. We do that, of course, by analyzing hundreds of hours of video of individuals. We're focused on building models for all of the major party candidates so that we can upload a video to our system. We can analyze it by comparing it to previous interviews and then asking what is the probability that this is consistent with everything we've seen before. Computer scientists have pushed this technology using generative adversarial networks, or GANs. A GAN pits two artificial intelligence algorithms against each other. One strives to create realistic fake images, while the other grades the effort. So the synthesis engine says, I'm going to create a fake image. I give it to this AI system that says, this looks fake to me. So it goes back and you change it and you do that a few billion times in rapid succession. And the computers are teaching each other how to make better fakes. And that's what has democratized access. And that's why the Pentagon is interested in deep fakes. Its research enterprise, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, is exploring ways to defend against the threat of deep fakes. Computer scientist Matt Turek runs DARPA's Media Forensics, or Metaphor, project. So there's an opportunity here for us to essentially lose all trust in images and video. Turek Right, so I played enough of the video. You can go back and watch this video yourself. I think that's enough, you know, to show you this technology in which they hold, you know, now that it's becoming against the powers that be. All right. They have a problem. All right. And um, don't be surprised. Some false flag, some things like that happen later on, man. So it says the wicked and his pride do have persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. And I got one more and I'm going to leave you guys with that. Um, With this, this is Isaiah chapter 32. And um, verse six, it's verse five, the veiled person shall be no more called liberal, nor the chore said to the bountiful for the veiled person shall speak villainly and his heart will work iniquity. All right. Because this is all a wickedness, AI intelligence, you know, um, and this is what uh, Elon Musk um, was talking about, how they can't control AI. You know, AI's artificial intelligence is 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 a computer, you know, basically smarter than man. All right. So it says for the veiled person shall speak villainly and his heart will work iniquity to practice to practice hypocrisy. All right. And to utter error against the Lord. To make empty the soul of the hungry and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. Here's the point. The instruments also of the true are evil. He deviseth wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. All right. It says the instruments also of the chul, which the word chul goes back to uh, impolite, mean spirited person. So that shows you who you're dealing with. You're dealing with uh, a mean, uh, mean spirited person. All right. Which is Esau Edom. It says the instruments also of the chul are evil. 
He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. But the liberal devises liberal things, and by liberal things shall he stand. All right, see? So, you know, I hope you guys were edified by this. This is the technology which is out, you know, and more and more, you know, is uh is going to take place. All right. We're in that time where the most high is exposing Esau. All right. You being exposed for who you are. All right. And all the wickedness and lies and deceptions that you have created. So it says why deep fake videos are becoming more difficult to die to detect. It's because. Any and everybody can, you know, can get their hands on this software and just manipulate it, you know. So, hey, with that, want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.